Imagine cutting down your travel expense to one tenth. Now imagine never having to visit the petrol pump ever again. Imagine that while doing so, you will be saving the environment too. A simple switch can make all of this possible. A switch to this, an electric scooter. We have got an electric scooter called Okinawa iPrace Plus with us here today, and with this, we will try to answer whether electric scooters in India are ready to replace the petrol ones or not. Simple. Now, before we start, a brief about what we have here. The iPrace Plus is priced at rupees 1.08 lakh, and at this price, it is one of the most capable electric scooters in the Indian market. That also means that its comparison with a petrol engine scooter would probably set the bar as to what electric scooters in India in a budget can do. Now, for the comparison, there are two things that we need to keep in mind. One, electric scooters run on electric motors rather than internal combustion engines. Second, these motors are backed by batteries, just as IC engines are run on fossil fuels. Now let us consider two different use case scenarios here. Scenario one: you use your two wheeler for your office commute every day. Now within a city, this is seldom more than 50 kilometers, which means you can cover two such trips on a single charge on the iPrace Plus. To put this in numbers, Okinawa claims a range of 160 kilometers on a single charge in the scooter. In a real world use, we have found it to be closer to around 120 kilometers. That means anything slightly above 100 kilometers is still good to go. In the second scenario, let us assume that you rely on only one vehicle for all your travel needs. That means regardless of the distance, you will have to use this scooter to reach your destination. That is wherein things get a little tricky. You see, as soon as the distance to be travelled crosses the maximum range, you will have to charge your scooter within your trip. For this, you will have to spare at least 3-4 to four hours for a full charge, which you will probably need for your trip back home too. So chances are, you will miss your petrol scooter here. This would not pose a problem in the first scenario, wherein you will have ample time to charge the battery either overnight at your home or at your office. For this, there is a microcharger that can be connected to any plug point. In case you are not able to find a point, you can remove the detachable battery and take it with you for charging. Keep in mind, it is heavy. The detachable battery here also allows you to keep a spare one for long trips, as in the second case. If you choose to do so, know that this is the costliest part of the scooter. Regardless, we would not suggest you to take such long trips on this one. That is also because of its limited performance. Now there's a 1000 watt BLDC motor powering the scooter. With that, Okinawa claims a top speed of around 65 kmph. But that is through the turbo mode. That gives you short bursts of speed just to overtake vehicles on the road. Without that, there's a sports mode that limits your top speed to around 55 kmph. So yeah, get used to vehicles overtaking you on the road. Now let's say you have chosen your use case scenario and you find such electric scooters a viable option. Know that with electrification, some new features have popped up on such offerings. Regenerative braking, for instance, is common in such EVs. This technology helps capture energy lost while braking and adds it back to the battery, thus increasing its range while on the go. Another common help are the connectivity features on such scooters. iPrace Plus comes with its own dedicated app that gives out scooter speed, location, trips, battery status, as well as alerts for its service and maintenance. A quirky feature on this one is the motor walking assistance. Remember how it used to be a struggle to move the scooters back and forth? Not anymore. There is a side stand sensor as well, which puts the motor on a sleep mode when the scooter is on its side stand. Nifty, right? Now time to bust some myths. There have been a lot of complaints that electric scooters can't take on steep slopes. Now, Okinawa promises that the iBrace Plus can take on a maximum slope of 15 degrees. We decided to put it to test. And just to step it up a notch, we are going to take it off-road. Now, on to the most important question. Whether to buy such electric scooters right now or not. Honestly, you can wait for the prices of lithium-ion batteries to come down. As the battery technology evolves, who knows? There might be another, cheaper, battery composition available in the coming years. However, if you are already using a two-wheeler, switching to an electric one will start your savings account right away. So buy or not, your choice. But in the future, this might be all you get. <laughs>